Hey, 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 welcome to Every Damn Day. We're gonna talk about pizza burritos and crazy rich Asians, but first, watch this. So pretty clearly, this is oh. from Florida. I think we all know that without knowing it. Oh, That's just a man riding on oh the highway God. on a motorcycle. Uh, that comes from Facebook user Rashawn Anderson Gespin. Pretty normal stuff. What's the most daredevil thing that you guys have done, or what do you think? What does this make you think of? I think there's something like peaceful about being so close to death at any moment that like your worries could just like disappear because you because you die. Whoa. That sounds awful. I feel like that when I'm standing by the subway and the subway's coming and I'm like, I could it would just take this oh. much effort to <laughs> like this is that's like one calories worth of energy. Just whoop. Oh. <laughs> and you're dead forever. Like that? Is that what you Yeah, mean? that's exactly what and I mean. You've, and you've jumped uh, into the tracks before. I have in real life. Why? Wait, why? Time, well my phone dropped down and so? then So well, I needed my phone back. Please, stop. <laughs> that gives me such bad anxiety. Gotta have yeah, your phone. Yeah, and there were like six other people milling about, and you know what they said or did? What? Not a thing. Oh. Just, it was Very New York good. City. They're like, oh my God. Nope. It didn't help you back up? No. The little rats boosted it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever done? I think the only thought was like, if this bitch delays our exactly. train, I'm like, I I bet you're so right. bad. My immediate reaction is that man is not good at sex. Oh. <laughs> Why? What are you talking he's about? He's trying to prove so much. No, no way. I bet he's like doing all kinds of cool feet stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was, he looks so cool. Yeah. Am I really uh, the only one that's going to yeah. defend this guy? Mistake number one, sex is good feet work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that the possibility that feet could be involved, sure. who knows what he's doing. He's in Florida. Ryan, I would hate to have sex with you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. I I, can't, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm this gonna, guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that guy looks like he he knows what he's doing. Yeah, well, I hope he also uh, uses his lawnmower like this, <laughs> <laughs> just around the yard. Just. Hey Jimbo, yeah. it's cute. You think this guy has a yard <laughs> <laughs> and a house? Yeah, I'm gonna have to disagree with you. I don't think he has a yard. Either, though. Yeah. I think that is his home. That that motorcycle. <laughs> I think, that's I think he, he looks cool as shit. He should have a helmet on. He doesn't need protection. He has a gun in his bag. <laughs> <laughs> if he starts to fall, he just shoots the ground yeah. and it like pops you back it. up and <laughs> keeps going. Well, from bad sex to questionable food, we've got a pizza burrito video. Check this out. This is the pizza burrito from Russo's oh, House wow. of Pizza in Pearl River. That's Does that much. give you a heart attack just watching that? What do you think? Not it's at all. Too, man. How is garlic knots a topping? Yeah. Garlic knots, mozzarella sticks, pasta, all inside that. Uh, wow. These girls are way too hot to be eating that. It's so well, that's true. the only bite she took. Yeah. <laughs> all day. That's all she ate. I don't think all that week. this should... Uh, I don't like this. No. I got a pamphlet in the mail from the World Wildlife Foundation, and they were talking about food waste and how America wastes 40% of all of the food that we yeah. uh, have. Imagine eating that whole thing. No like, one's eating the whole you'd thing. You'd feel so good, like... No. Here's what pisses like, me. Just, like, pass out and, like... You'd forget everything, and maybe you'd be closer to death. <laughs> ah. You know, you'd be closer you know to death. what? I mean, no, George. everyone is so critical of of food. Don't eat it. Like I went to this party, and it was Tex-Mex, and I brought Doritos, and I didn't hear the end of it. Tex-Mex is made up. You know what I mean? Like I'm so sick of people being like criticizing food. If that's a thing, let's just make food and eat it. I don't Hannah. know why you guys are getting upset about other people's food choices. Hannah, I would Hannah, hate to have sex with you. Why are you looking at me? I like the pizza. <laughs> But it's a waste. But it's wasteful. Time. It's wasteful. Do you Why? Think they were, what if you finish that? <laughs> well, that's a great point. <laughs> <laughs> this idea of like the clean plate club, where you got to finish your plate. If you're eating more calories than you need, just because you ate it, that's still a type of food waste. Okay, look. <laughs> what do you? Yeah, America. Aside, we dude. have forty percent food waste. Other countries are down around like seventeen. Now, is this some straight point, from the pamphlet. This is straight from the pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> now, like. <laughs> I, research, just the pamphlet you got in the mail. It's also just a calzone. So don't, no. so don't bring me I, I'm all gonna this. have to disagree with you. It's calzone with a bunch of garbage no, in it. No, it's an open-ended hot pocket. Yeah, there's gonna be a time when people were, were like, oh man, they used to have like flat pizza. They didn't even fold it, they didn't put shit in it. It was just <laughs> a pizza, and sometimes you would just eat a slice of it. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs>
Speaking of indulgences, there's one other topic I want to go on to. Uh, throw up that screen capture. This is a headline. Crazy Rich Asians. Warner Brothers has decided to make a sequel already because it did so well at the box office. Uh, it had an opening weekend of 35.3 million for the first five days. Uh, wow, this is exciting. Has anyone here seen it? Yeah. yeah. What do you what do you guys think about the movie? Nate, what do you think about Crazy Rich Asians? I loved it. I thought yeah, it was great. I haven't seen it yet. It, oh. I want to though. Ryan, what do you think about the movie? We're gonna go we might go tonight. Okay. Ooh. Hannah, what do you think about Crazy Rich Asians? Uh, I love the book because I read the book. Okay. And that's like a five hundred page book. Did you read so, the book, Jordan? Read the whole thing. No, they made a movie about it. Why would I have to read the book? <laughs> I think I'm a more dedicated Asian, Asian than I am. <laughs> <laughs> what a pregnant pause that was. <laughs> I remember a previous episode you awarded Natasha full Asian powers. Yes, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yes. Uh, my mom saw the movie. <laughs> oh, your mom? Saw? Okay. Yeah. That's good enough. And I listened to a podcast about it. Okay. And okay. Constance Wu, the lead, yes. went to my rival high school. No way. Wow. Yeah. Your rival high school. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got to be in the sequel. I'm not going to ask Chris. I'm not going to put that pressure on Chris. I didn't see it, uh, <laughs> but I also did not go see Black Klansman. So okay, and blacks in the title. Yeah, listen, yeah. I'm not racist. I'm just lazy and cheap. So, <laughs> that equals it all out. You know what I mean? Is this a th is there a thing? Maybe I'm being a terrible white man here. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> go on. All of these. T oh so it's like I think it's great that there's there's representation and all this kind of stuff. Uh -oh. But the most recent uh -oh. movies. <laughs> oh no. Where are we going? But the most recent movies have had. Black Black Ooh. Panther, and then it's like, well, now all the black people better go see yep. this because black's in the title. If we don't do this, then it's over. I'm not opposed to that. It was that. better than the lack of pressure we got for the last in, forever in yeah. Hollywood. I, mean, I live yeah. with that. I feel yeah. like white's my, always been in the title, too. When Harry met Sally. <laughs> 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 Very white. Great. Right. All the Harry's and Sally's for us to go see That's that. True. Anyway, I think I might go see, yeah. well, during our hiatus, I'm going to go see yeah. uh, the, the movie, all the movies. I want to go see all the racially driven movies. That's my plan. Yeah. That sounds like a fun hiatus. So two movies? <laughs> right now, that's all we got. I every, mean, a few more. every movie's racial. Your You're pamphlet's right. poking out of your pocket, dude. <laughs> You'd be lucky to see my pamphlet. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know what's happening. I, I think it's time for some YouTube shout outs. Jordan, you have something for us? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so um, the comments were a lot of them were about Hannah's worm. <laughs> Oh, no. ones. Um, from Wolper, Wolper Tinger, uh, it reminds me of a worm, but like in his last moments of d life before dying in the sun. <laughs> and then, That's like the meanest one. I think it's a it's really well written joke. Funny one. It's a good joke. Uh, and then Jericho J says, Hannah's worm was more like a fish on land and it's been a good minute. That's what I'm going to do over the hiatus. I'm just going to do the worm. Every day. You promised. I'm going to have the worm down. All right, I'm We're excited gonna... for that. We're going to do something different right now. We're here right now with Krista Stefano from Stupid Questions every Friday night on Comedy Central. Also, new comedy special coming this January. And today, hey, we're, we're going to turn the tables on you. And we're going to ask you a couple stupid questions. Do it. What, <laughs> what compliment always turns you to putty? Putty? <laughs> Sometimes uh, people say that I have a, a woman's butt. Oh, you got a lady butt. <laughs> yeah. And I that does you got to show you. this butt now. You yeah. have to stand up and show off the butt. Yeah, it's like a size 38. I mean, you have to like, show it at me. Yeah, well, you asked the Hannah, question. Hannah, but if no, you, if you Hannah didn't ask. This is your question. Let me see the butt. Get in here, Chris. All right. Come on, you know <laughs> it's not, me. It's not bad. If actually for a lady, that would be a, 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 a good lady Chris, butt. Chris, if you want to get this putty butt, you know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next question, we're going to go to you, Jordan. Uh, okay, so if you could start a KISS level band, like the band KISS, okay. same level of appreciation and uh, fame, uh, but you had to quit comedy, would you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a pretty stupid question. Hold on. I'm in a band like KISS. Like uh -huh. KISS. Like I'm the lead singer of KISS. Sure. Okay. Yep. And then? What do you need same me to do? Level, you get the same <laughs> level of fame and appreciation and wealth. Okay. As Kiss but, guy. But you, but you have to quit comedy. No more comedy. No oh, more, no more comedy, but yes. I'm as famous as the guys from Kiss. Yeah. 
Yeah. Why? <laughs> I mean, what? Would anybody, do you think anybody really cares about comedy that much? <laughs> Brother, I got news for you. If nobody cares, the answer is a resounding yes. I think that's a maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, next, we have Anna. Anna. Okay, for the rest of your life, would you rather not be able to tell the difference between a muffin and a baby or have Cheeto dust on your fingers? I'd say Cheeto dust on my fingers because I bite my nails still to this day. So I constantly have fingers in my mouth. I have an oral fixation. It's a long thing with mom. Um, but, but, but um, yeah, because I mean, I love muffins and I love babies. But um, yeah, I'd rather just have Cheeto dust on my fingers for Ebbs. I got a question. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 10 duck-sized horses? Ooh. I think I'd rather fight uh, one, one horse-sized duck. <laughs> I'd fight a duck. Why? Well, because I feel like, you know, I grew up in like, you know, like the old Brooklyn. I feel like I fought people and lost, but fought people <laughs> that look like horse-sized ducks. Like, there's some kids that you've seen like in the depths of my neighborhood, that you're like, there's no way that's a human. But then a duck-sized horse, that's cute. I don't know, yeah, I don't know if I want to fight them. <laughs> Moving on, mm -hmm. Natasha, your question. Okay, I did a little bit of research for this question. Thank you, I appreciate mm -hmm. no it. No problem. So currently ham costs 350 a pound on average. Okay. Okay, if you were in charge of all of ham, how much would you make it cost? Per pound. That's like what gas costs, I think, right? Uh -huh. is that, so, so is so, that a tank of gas equivalent to to, uh, to honey. how many pounds of ham? As president of ham, I would keep it. <laughs> I, would keep, I would keep it at three fifty. Um, cool. Three fifty a pound. Yeah, Safe that's just choice. what it is, and that's the mm. that's the America you'll live in with me. So or more, yeah. You know, <laughs> you more, more, yeah. 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 You into the camera, let them know, and, and you got to make sure you don't point at them. You have to do this thing. Yeah. Well, how would you, you keep it at? Make that announcement. I'd make keep ham at $3.50 a pound. I'm going to open up the borders to ham. Anybody who wants ham can have ham. That's what I'll do. The borders are open. There's no walls. You can have the ham. We're not making ham great again. It's always been great. And um, feel the ham burn. Uh, don't forget to check out Chris Stefano. <laughs> stupid question with Chris Stefano. This is great. I hope you enjoyed our stupid question. Let me put my finger in your mouth. Hi. I'm Hannah Dickinson, and this is Cheers to You. We're on vacation next week, and I'm kicking it off early with a blackout. Cheers to you, Noah Cyrus, for being swooned by your new boyfriend, Lil Xan, for bringing you chicken nuggets. I think it's so romantic you visit him at work. Cheers to you, Kevin Spacey, for making a whole $126 on opening day of your new movie, Billionaire Boys Club. I bet all six people walked out when they realized it's actually not a documentary about all your victims. Cheers to you, Bruno, for being a robust cat in high demand. Thanks for being a positive force for the rest of us fat pussies. Cheers to you, Heidi Klum, for carrying around baby teeth as good luck. I was wondering what you did with them after drinking their blood. Cheers to you, Ariana Grande, for thanking Pete Davidson for existing. Good to know our standards are the same. Cheers. Did you guys see my new shoes? New shoes. Yeah, they new kind shoes. of look like my shoes. Wait, what's they happening? Do. What's happening? New shoes. Brian, did you get Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Hi. Yay. That's the whitest thing you've done all episode. <laughs> <laughs> those Barbie shoes. Fun. I love them. Are you going to go to a rave during the hiatus? I don't know. I might just do this throughout the movie at Crazy Rich Asians. Whoa. Uh, well, Make it about you. We've Make got a you. we've got a hiatus coming up, so we won't be here next week. But come back on Tuesday, September fourth, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Every damn day.